Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying an MRE for you. This is MRE number 10. Uh, so there have been nine previous videos. I hope you will watch those if you haven't already. Uh, this is from menu A. Um, these were bought from Ozark Outdoors on Amazon. I will link a description, uh, have a link in the description below uh, where you can find these if you're interested in getting them. You can buy menu A or um, menu B by themselves. We chose to buy them both uh, so that we would have 24 meals. Um, each menu A or menu B, they have 12 meals in each box. And so we wanted to be able to try every single one because that's just the way we are. Yeah. Um, this so one is, is the one? chili and macaroni. Macaroni. Chili and macaroni. Okay. Comes in a sealed package and I have a hard time opening this sometimes, so. Well, we do have scissors. Yeah, we've got scissors just in case we have, don't want to fight with it too much. And I want to take pictures for you all. I want to take pictures of the nutritional information. It, uh, those pictures will be at the end of the video. I like to um, know the, the, you know, some of you care about calories, some of you care about sugars and carbs and things like that. So I take a picture of that. And then a lot of you care about um, the things that are put into the, your food. Yeah, your ingredients. Uh, your ingredients. And so I take pictures of those and have those at the end. So, okay. I'm assuming this is going to be your, yeah, chili and macaroni. So I'm going to, I'm, I'll hold this and you can go through the rest of it. Okay. Well, do you want me to go ahead and give you the heat thing? It's a heat. This is your heat packet. So. And the reason I'm get, going ahead and giving that to Kevin is because it takes time to heat your main, uh, your main meal, um, it take, uh, takes time to heat that up. So I wanted him to be able to get started on that. Yeah, I have no grip strength, so it's just I have difficulty opening these bags. Is and there any other bags that are this color? Okay, so this the is the first one. The first part of all of these MRE videos are gonna be basically the same. We're gonna get the, the main meal, and we're going to get the heat element and we're going to get it started and so for a lot of you this is going to be redundant however yeah, if you watch like a bunch of them it's going to be the same thing right however if you some for somebody who just stumbled upon this video and clicked on it yeah or we, they want to see what this one mre looks like right we want to do this every single time show you how it works how to use the heat element uh, in, in case you don't know. Okay, so there's two lines right here. You want to fill your water up between the lines and it doesn't take much. And uh, hold Probably on. A, like a tiny it's just a, it Yeah, a couple like of little splashes. Good. I found after doing these for a while, it's easier if you go ahead and have your heat pack and, your, and the meal in the bag and then pour this into the bag. And I usually make a little bit of a mess, but. Where is it? Oh, it's, it's right to the very, it's right at the very top of that black line. Oh. So it's okay. So now I'm gonna push this heater down in there, fold it over on the opposite side of the heater, lay it down flat, like let your water kind of get it all wet, and then let it sit there kind of flat for a few seconds and give me that cardboard sleeve out of the bottom. And you can see how many calories this is. There, yes, yeah, so there's a cardboard sleeve that you're gonna, the main meal always has a cardboard sleeve that you slip these into. The chili mac, macaroni and beef in sauce is 280 calories for the entire thing. So. So you're supposed to wait like 30 seconds or so for it to kind of start heating up and you can kind of, you start feeling it. You can't hear it yet, but. A little bit you can hear it sizzle. Yeah, you can hear it sizzle a bit. So once you start hearing that and, and it'll get too hot for you to eat a whole honestly. You want to, uh, Slide it in there, make sure you keep the little fold in the pouch, and then prop it up on a rock or something to where it'll hold it upright. So you wanna kinda of keep it at an angle. And then we can go through other stuff. And normally you would be using your canteen to measure, uh, you know, your canteen would have, I guess, measurements on it. We have a bottle of water here, and we have found that one bottle of water is perfect for whatever yeah. drinks they give Easy you. Usually works pretty good. Uh, this is a teriyaki beef stick. Huh. 
Thank you. Oh, and it's, um, it's actually a round beef. Steak. This oh, is a sure. grape beverage powder, and right. they put these beverage powders in this, this huge container. Huge thing. Uh, this is a toffee rolls. Huh? Well, huh. It's like a sissy roll. It looks like sticks. It feels like sticks. Like sissy rolls. Oh, okay. Maybe I don't. I don't know. This no, is to be chocolate, so crushed red pepper. We've never had that. Huh. I guess that's for the crackers. Vegetable crackers. Yeah, I think they've said that before. Um, applesauce cake. Hmm. Is it salt? Is it firm? It's not applesauce. It's like a cake. It's a cake. Oh, that's cool. Uh, you get is that okay? Cheese spread with jalapenos. And it says you need that before. Need it. And this opening. cheese spread is, is sometimes hot. And this is a beverage uh, pouch, like for hot beverages, like for coffee. So mm -hmm. you would stick that in your, fill it up with water, and put it in your pack with your your heater, your chemical heater, um, to heat it up if you wanted to. We usually just drink it lukewarm. This is your accessory pack, and uh, I'll show you what I'm getting out. You get uh, instant coffee, which we'll make right away here in just a minute. Salt, creamer, uh, sugar. It's not Splenda, it's sugar. Those are all three for your coffee, unless you like your coffee black. You get toilet paper and a moist towelette, matches, and chewing gum. So we're gonna make the coffee. Coffee is six ounces of water. Six ounces. More, more, more. Go back down until I actually drop it. <laughs> you, honey, that's not up to six. It is. No, no six no, is way up there. You want me to do it? <laughs> Uh, you're almost there. I'm good enough. <laughs> good enough. <laughs> Give me a cup. The the bag's not stiff, so it doesn't it wants to collapse when you're pouring stuff in there. Okay. Coffee and the sugar. Give me the sugar. Out. It's right here. I want to cut this creamer because the calories are right on the side. And I thought about just taking the pictures once, like like we've had creamer a bunch of times. And I thought I could take that picture and crop it one time, but then I thought no, because if it's different, if this packet's 25 calories instead of 20, I, you know, I just want to make sure that that I've given you all, you know, the correct information all the time. And so I'm really funny about it. I make sure that I. Um, uh, take pictures, new pictures every single time. So the rest of your water is going to be used for your uh, gra your grape powder. And this is carbohydrate electrolyte beverage powder. So it's kind of like a gay or something. And normally you would tear it probably right in the middle. It would be a lot easier to get out of the package. Uh, but I have to tear it at the top so that I can get that picture for you all. And I think normally you would you would probably prepare it in this bag. Probably. Do you have the creamer paper? It's. Oh, sorry. I just want to make sure I keep mine. That's coffee. Oh, the creamer. Oh, sorry. sorry. That's okay. I just want to make sure I don't lose any calorie. And it, even though it's. Um, Grape, it's blue liquid. It is. Here you can taste the coffee. The coffee's good. It's 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 a it's a bitter coffee, but you only get one sugar packet, and it's a small. But you don't get much coffee either. It doesn't make yeah, much. Yeah, I mean, is not much. No, not much at all. Not much at all. Just enough a swig. That's <laughs> yeah. But a if little... you really like coffee, you'll appreciate it. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think I would I would appreciate that out in the field. That coffee. That noise you hear is Guido snoring behind us. 
Just in case you hear them snoring. And the grape really doesn't taste like grape. It's, it reminds you of grape a little bit, but it's but not. But it just doesn't, grape. it doesn't go there all the way. No, right? it doesn't. It really it's kind of like, it's a little weird. Okay, what do you want to try? Oh, uh, how about, let's see what these toffee rolls are. I mean, I'm wondering, I, I think they you're right. You don't want to open them? We can open them. Well, I just want to see what they are because if it is a Tootsie Roll, there's no calories on the outside. If it is a Tootsie Roll, hmm. But yeah, that's what it is, Kevin. They are. They actually say Tootsie Roll. They huh? are Tootsie Roll brand. And there's no calories on the bag at all. The <laughs> calories are on the package. So we're not going to be doing a review of these. I think uh, I'm sure we, if we haven't done a roll of Tootsie uh, uh, review, you know what though? We could try one. We could. We could try one. Them. We'll try one for you. Cause you know what? I don't know that we have done a review of Tootsie Roll, so we'll open one. What the heck? Okay. These are crackers. Two crackers are 160 calories. I would assume you put the cheese on there, wouldn't you? I think I cut the cracker. Wouldn't you put the cheese on this? Well, we put it in the. We had bag. a meal with chili. Yeah. And we said that if we were to eat it in the field, that we would probably put the cheese in the chili and. Yeah. And um, put the crackers in. But what do you and put the crackers in the chili as well? Yeah, we could do that. So do you want to save it or do you we could try a little bit of cheese on the cracker again? Okay. And they're perforated in the middle, but they're wanting to break exactly the opposite direction. They did, Isn't literally. that weird? That's weird. They literally broke the wrong, the opposite way of the, the perforation. That cracker is an unusual cracker. Mm -hmm. It's not a veg. I mean, it's a vegetable cracker, so it's not just a traditional cracker. It actually has a little green tint to it. <laughs> that cheese is hot. The cheese is hot, but I mm -hmm. like it. You probably will. I mean, give me a drink. Um, really? Just a little bit. I like um, I like that jalapeno cheese. I think it's good. I think it has a good. You get a. Uh, I mean, it's it's cheap cheese. Let's face it. It's um. It's, it's a processed. Cheese. It's a processed cheese. It's but good though. It has a good flavor. It's good. It has very good flavor. The jalapeno has a very nice jalapeno flavor. Mm -hmm. It's hot. It's kind of like cheese whiz. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, I like cheese, cheese whiz. That's it. Um, what is that? Oh, that's the... That's your dessert. Yeah. Well, her, try the teriyaki beef stick. Teriyaki beef stick. Okay. And it has its own... I will keep that pa paper as well. Um, this... That's oh, a bridge for... They sell Bridgeford's. Bridgeford? Uh huh. They sell those at Walmart or wherever. Uh, 110 calories is how uh, much the stick is. Yeah, I try to take pictures of everything. So, this, uh, the Bridgeford Teriyaki Beef Stick. And uh, it has the ingredients on here as well as on that package. So, <laughs> that'd be good if you're out there. In the woods somewhere. Mm-hmm. I like that. That's a good beef stick. Bridgeford's a decent brand. They're, not, they're pretty decent. I've seen that brand before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we've mm -hmm. seen it at Walmart. I really like that beef stick. The teriyaki, I've never had a teriyaki anything, I don't think. And so I didn't know what to expect. Um, yeah, that's not as sweet. To me, it just tastes like a regular beef stick. It's not as sweet as as um, some of the teriyaki. I tell you what, this this heat pack uh, wasn't a great heat pack. It Are really. Are you sure you don't want to try this first and let that stay in there? You can fill it. I mean, it really wow. did not get very hot at all. No, so the, we're not going to have a hot meal today. You can go ahead and open that if you want to, and I'll let it sit for another minute. But it's not going to do much. Okay, applesauce cake. And some of them, some of them don't work as well as other ones. So I mean, it's just. I feel sorry for the guys in the field though that, that are out there. Is it the and, crappy one? Yeah. Okay, there's your do not eat me. Don't eat this. Uh, 270 calories and it looks like a little squashed cake. Loaf of <laughs> bread. Loaf, loaf, yeah. yeah. Like they did it in the very bottom of the loaf. Is this sizzling now? Hmm? Yeah. It's, it's, you can hear it still sizzling. Hmm. It actually has pieces of apple in it. 
Mm, that's really good. That is delicious. That is you delicious. You want to go applesauce? Yeah. That is so good. That is good. I like that. Did you get a little piece of apple? Mm -hmm. But but even if I didn't, the cake itself is really good. I could eat that whole thing right now. That mm. is so good. It is very, very good. Mmm. I got another little piece of apple. <laughs> I wish they sold those at the store. That is good. But see, you don't know what brand. It says Sterling Foods. I know. But you don't know, like, what brand is that under in the grocery store? Because that, I'm telling you, that applesauce cake, uh, good. All right. Let's have this cold. For some reason, me just moving it around started heating it up again. Oh. Well, to me, you know I like food hot. We could try the Tootsie Roll. I Go know ahead. we're trying everything out of order. Go ahead and try the Tootsie Roll. The Tootsie Roll is... I don't know why all of a sudden it started working just because I picked it up. I'm going to tear yeah. this open because I have another one I can take a picture of. The calories. It's only 50 calories for the Tootsie Roll. And I'm opening this for my non-American friends who may have never seen a Tootsie Roll. So, um, I'm not being weird. But this is how they look. This one's kind of... Okay, here we go. Now, and they're kind of, uh, the texture is kind of rubbery. Yeah, kind of like a taffy, like um, a laffy taffy almost. Yeah, and what would you, how would you describe that flavor? It's a chocolatey kind of flavor. That's chewier than I remember. Yeah, it's kind of chocolatey. Yeah, these are pretty soft. Some of the ones you get are really hard. These are softer. Okay, I'm weird. I don't mind this at all. Mm -mm. But I've never been a fan of the original Tootsie Roll. They make Tootsie Rolls in all flavors. Um, strawberry and vanilla. I'm sure they make a lemon one. and I mean, they just make, they make a bag of an assortment of a variety of, of Tootsie Rolls. My favorite is the vanilla, which uh, I have a friend who sent me some bags, uh, but the the original, I just, I've never cared for that flavor. To me, to me, it's like biting into a tube of chapstick. Really? No, yeah. I don't mind that. I, and it, I think it has a decent chocolatey kind of chocolate pocket-like flavor. It's not really Give me that applesauce cake. Oh yeah, I agree. Give me that. I agree, but if you want something sweet, then then that, that goes, that's something you could stick in your pocket for later. I'm sure that, that's what I was gonna say. I'm sure that uh, the guys who eat these would, would keep some of this for later. Like the beef stick would be easy to keep for later. Tootsie Rolls you could keep for later. The main meal you would want to eat, but if, you know, if you wanted to keep a lot of this for later in your pocket, you, you mm -hmm. it would be easy to do because they're thin, you know? Okay. I think it's buzz. I mean, it's still going. Well, I can wait. I mean, we can we no, can wait if you want. This is what it would be like if you were to be out there. Um, hunting you had a time or yeah, a time restraint. It's like, well, it didn't work, and all of a sudden it did work. Now that's just what you give it. You got to live with it. Mm. It got pretty hot though, so I mean. Some of them, some of them got hot. Yeah, keep that. Yeah, that's, some of that package is very hot. But yeah, again, the, the steam's coming out of the bag. The package is hot, but then again, the, the contents may not be. You want to do this? Yeah, let me Are see you? if I can grab it. It's usually wet, and so it's hard to grab now. I have no grip strength, literally. <laughs> I got the grip strength of a, of a mouse. We know there. is yeah, it's just sawing logs. Then, but this is what he does all day. I mean, you would think that uh, he would run a marathon and that he would be as tired for some reason. No, nope, this is Guido's life. Try, I think that might be hotter than some of the rest of it. Thank you. Mine was warm. Hmm. Hmm. That's good. I like that flavor. I do too. I like the... Um, I like the macaroni. It's a good filler. Crushed red pepper. Yeah, I'm assuming they want you to put this on here. I would think so. 
There's nothing else in here we're going. Kind of like how hot you like your like your stuff. Yeah. It's like crushed pepper that you would get from uh, a pizza place. Go ahead. go ahead. No, you go. Here's one right here. That reminds me with that macaroni mm -hmm. of the way I make my chili. Yeah. It's lots of macaroni. It reminds me of my chili a lot, honestly. My homemade chili. Um, it, it has the meat, uh, the good pieces of, of hamburger. It has... Mm, <laughs> wow, I need a drink. I got a flake. Oh. Um, it's gone now. Um, I, it has the macaroni. See, a lot of people don't use pasta in their chili. But I do. I use, um, I've used macaroni before, elbow macaroni. I normally use spaghetti and I'll break it in, um, I'll take like one big long piece of spaghetti and I'll break it and put it in there. Mm. And I love it that way. Um, it's better with that cheese. Is it? So, so that reminds me of my homemade spaghetti. Mm. Okay, you wanna try the gum? Yeah. That, um, you add a little bit of that, um, um, sorry for the wet spot on the tablecloth. The um, you add that cheese to them, and it really spices it up. I mean, really spices it up. And then crumble your crackers in there. I think that'd be awesome. Or dip it in the crackers. This is um, cinnamon mm. gum. Mm. It's a good gum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice cinnamon flavor. And if you've been out and your mouth is dry or if you are a smoker, this would mm -hmm. be great to pop in your mouth. If you're a non-smoker, it'd be great. Yeah, that's true. Just to have a, a, a refresh your mouth, you know? So we rate these meals on a scale of one to five, five being the best, um, one being something we'd never have again. Uh, we'll, when we rate everything, the drinks and all, what would you rate it? Got them? Mm-hmm. Five. Five. Yeah, this is one I would eat again. I would I would order this over and over and over again. This is yeah. very very good. I liked everything about it. There wasn't had a good dessert. There wasn't one thing I didn't like. And I, stick. That applesauce cake. I'm telling you, I wish really they good. saw that because that is some good stuff. Good so stuff. if you get this meal, I don't think you can go wrong. I really don't. I think this is a good one to order. So. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I will have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.